Hello and welcome to Weekend Projects, a Make Magazine video podcast. I'm Bree Pettis, your host, and every week I bring you a project that you can make over the weekend. Today I've got a really cool project for you. I'm going to teach you how to make a pinhole camera. Yeah, that's right, a camera without a lens. Now we've got a couple options for how to do this. You could make, you could take a camera that you already have and add a pinhole to it to make it a pinhole camera. Or you could use a pinhole kit where you put it all together and then you take pictures with it. This is fun. Or you can make your own camera. I made this one. This is my first pinhole camera I ever made. And we're going to go that route. We're going to actually make the whole camera and we're going to make it out of this pencil case. Now, a pencil case, this is good because it opens up and there's a place for the paper to go here. We're going to use photography paper as film. And I drilled a hole in it with my Makita drill, which a drill is a very handy thing to have around the workshop. And once I had the hole in it, I just needed to make a pinhole for it. Now, if you're going to make a pinhole, you need to have something to put the hole in. So um, you could do this with a couple different ways. You could do it with aluminum foil or an aluminum can. Or if you're a pinhole snob like me, you get some 1,000th of an inch brass shim stock. This stuff is really awesome. It's very strong, it's super, super thin, and it's great to make pinholes out of. So I cut a little piece out, and I'm gonna go ahead and take a needle. And you'll notice I've put this on a piece of paper here. That's because it's good to have something behind it, so when you put the pin in, there's something behind it for the pin to go in. So I'm gonna make a little hole, and then I'm gonna go ahead and when you make a hole in something, it pushes a little bit out the other side. So I need to sand it down now. Now you can use super fine grit sandpaper or if you just want to go to the corner store and buy a uh, very um, extra fine nail file, you can do that too. And then you just go ahead and you sand it on down. And then you flip it over and you sand it like this. Now you can check to see that you have a circle by holding it right up to your eye or you can go ahead and use a microscope and see if you've got a circle. Let's turn the microscope on. Here's one that hasn't been sanded down and it's still rough, and here's one that's been sanded and is nice and smooth. Once you've got your pinhole just the way you like it, you go ahead and you put it on a piece of tape. Now I cut a hole out of the tape first so that the little pinhole could be seen through it, and now I'm gonna attach this piece of tape with the brass shim stock and the pinhole on it into the camera body. Now I want to put this here so that it's exactly in the middle of the hole here. And now I'm all set. Now my, my camera is almost done. I just need to put some phot photographic paper in here and then make it light tight. Before we get into the dark room, we need chemicals. And I found some in my basement that I haven't used in a long time, so I'm hoping they're still good. Got your paper fixer, got your paper developer, got your stop bath. Those are the three things you need. I like to use the, um, the liquid kind. Some people like to mix it up from powder. This is D76, very popular. And I'm going to put it into these things and then we'll go into the dark room. All right, we're in my bathroom, now a dark room. You can see I've put a blanket up over the window and doors and I've got everything set up here. Let me show you. I've got a, I've got a safe light right here, which is a red light, which is safe to photographic paper. You can shine this on photographic paper and it won't damage it. And I've got all the chemicals on my, uh, on a board on my tub. Ideally, I'd be using smaller things in this, but these are the only things I had. I don't know what I did with my small trays. This is the developer, and this is the stop bath. One of the cool things about stop baths is that when it gets used up too much, it turns purple. Then I've got my fixer on the floor over here and my wash over there. Okay, I've got tape over the hole and I've got tape all around the outside so no light can get in there except for the pinhole when I take the tape off. I loaded the paper in the wrong way, so it still made a little bit of an image, but I've got to try this again. Aw, it didn't work again. Now there was too much exposure and it's totally black. Now this is just the way pinhole photography works. You try it, it's too short, you do it the wrong way, you try it again, you do it too long, and hopefully I'll be able to do it one last time and get it just right. Okay, third time's the charm, right? Making a camera is easy. You just poke a hole in a box. Developing the negative, that's also easy too. You just throw a bunch of chemicals in a dark room. 
Now, printing a print from your negative, that's easy too. You just take your negative and you put it down on a piece of photo paper in the dark. I put some glass over it and then you switch the light on. First time I did this, I left the light on for about two seconds and it came out too dark. So then I just flipped the light on just right on and off and it was too light. Then I just turned the light on and then turned the light off and it came out just right. Now there's a lot of details and I'll make sure to include those in the PDF that, I go, that goes in the blog post and the instructions and that way you can just print it out and you'll be all set. You'll have all the information you need. As you can see, it's a trial by error kind of a thing. You gotta try things over and then adjust them and make them better. And that's just part of the way it works when you make your own stuff. Okay, I'm Bree Pettis and you've watched another Weekend Projects. Go out there, take some photos, and have a great weekend.